Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Mods are out, and we've got 20 new and updated mods to drop today on the end game mod up for FS22. For all platforms, we have 11 new, and for PC and Mac players, we have 7 new and 2 updates. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official end game mod hub, so hit subscribe if you're new. That way, you never miss any. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We got the Amazon Pantera 4502. It is back for like the third or fourth game in a row. I love this thing right here. This has 218 horsepower, a variable transmission, 1,000 liter fuel capacity. It's crazy. Let's see if we got a trailer hitch on the back. Check that out. 31 miles per hour, 4,500 liter capacity. That is going to be for liquid fertilizer and herbicide. It does weigh 10.5 tons, so it's a heavy boy. It's got a 41 meter boom spread. That's pretty sweet. And your working width is nine miles per hour. Will Brands, well, we got a couple on here. Trailer board, we can actually change these from narrow, narrow two, and narrow three. So choose what you like through there. We also have a Michelin tire and a Bronstein tire as well if you guys want to choose whatever you fancy. And we got a license plate. <laughs> That's it. But like I said, this has a trailer hitch on the back too. I'm sure you guys can get pretty creative with this. Oh yeah. And if you're on console, it's going to be only five slots. Get that. Five slots for all this. That's awesome. From Schnibble Modding, we have the Corona GX440. This is going to be a forage trailer. However, it's not just a regular forage trailer. This holds everything. How cool is that? It holds it all. You can see everything that holds down there on the right-hand side. It even holds stones, which is pretty sweet. Real brands, we've got Trelleborg on here. We also have Michelin, BKT, Rystein, all that good stuff. You can throw a cover on there if you want to or not. I'm definitely going to be using this trailer with cover. It holds 44,000 liters and weighs 10 tons empty. And yeah, it's going to be nine slots. So it's almost twice as heavy on slots as a self propelled sprayer. Next is the Lizard 2 PTS 6A. Now, PC players will probably see this and be like, hey, don't we have that already? And we do. This is the multiple platform version. Um, one great thing that I'm seeing right here is the Giants are actually releasing cross-platform mods on PC as well. Back in Farming Simulator 19, they did not do that, nor did they do that in 17 either. So let's take a look at this one. 2PTS 6A, this is going to hold 6.2 thousand liters in here, but we can also go up to 11,100 or 18,500. You can even do a 19,100 if you want to do that on the back there as well. Um, we've got different setups depending on what you've got. Your weight will increase, so be aware of that. As far as labels go on sides, so we have standard, and you got a couple. You can also remove the decals if you wish. Spare wheel. Well, that is going to be on the very bottom on the right-hand side. Right there. Looking pretty good. Put that on there if you want to. We can even change up the wheel setups if you would like. So basically got a normal with mud guards or a big wide with mud guards. Uh, in true FSSA modding team fashion, we've got plenty of color options to choose from. This is going to be for your primary color. Choose whatever you like, you're good to go. That's going to be your uh, color wheel. As far as the design, this looks to be the, yeah, the frame on the bottom. And of course, wheel brands are, well, wheel colors at that. You even have your license plate as well. Poke around to the back, and you see we've got the smaller one. There's going to be seven slots on console. From Mero Z, we have the Irma Evo FSV. This is a new plow for you guys. Looks like my configurations disappeared. There we go. By the way, if that ever happens to you, just exit out and go back in. Your configurations will pop up. This is a plow, or plow, 2.4 ton weight on this. It's tiny. Very small, 2.6 meters, 230 horsepower required as well. So it's super small and requires a whole lot of power. There's a lot of better options to get the job done. But for pure beauty, well, well, there's nothing like it quite, is there? You got different wheel setups. You've got different slate setups as well. Uh, depth, you could change the depth of how deep that will go down into the ground. And you've even got a uh, an extension. So 2.6 or 3.3 meters main color you got that ermo gray and the ermo white and rim color got the ermo gray where you can go with a silver as well this is going to be a yon counter plus one five slots on consoles next is the class combio flex pack from gefd 25 now we saw these on um in farm some news however i don't think these are the ones that we have seen regardless we get two of them so we have the 770 and then we have the 930 as well so 7.7 meters and 9.3 meters there's going to be 10 slots each and if you go into combinations you can see that that is saying use these with the claws try on 
So a uh, little bit smaller. I think the Trion's got like a 10 meter header that comes with it. Nonetheless, you do get to see your header trailers with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Next up is the E-Drive Laner. This is only a helping tool. The E-Drive Laner can create uh, trim and drive lanes, display or hologram shown in the place of creating stuff like that. Uh, hollow arrows, as you can see those right there. Uh, those show you the points to attach and attaching as possible on the front loader console or the trailer attachments on the front or the rear. So you can use all of your three points at the same time. This has got two monitor options. We have default and a compact. As you can see down there at the bottom, it is changing it up. Uh, you've got monitor placement with control group number two. You can use with all three point mounted seaters, limited using with the trailed seater, only in a straight line. Adjustment for the track width, adjustment for the track offset of zero to, point, or, uh, to three meters, adjustable for distance behind seater, manual row, and lane holograms can be switched on and off. So basically, um, this appears like it just kind of helps you stay in the row. Stay in the middle of the road, something like that. Uh, there is a full tutorial video online. I'll do my best to link that down in the description or you could check out Mod Hub and check this mod out as well. Regardless, pretty cool. And one of the great things is it is for all platforms. This next mod is just absolutely epic. This is the Honey Palette Warehouse. Let me describe to you what this does. This is a place to place down where all of your honey will appear here. So instead of using one of the things that holds like 24 or whatever, all of your honey appears here. Well, this is also a factory as well. It could store up to 30,000 liters of honey at a time, and it can store, sell, or automate the sending of your stuff all at the same time. What in the world are you talking about? You can even put honey in here. Dude, check this out. All right, let's go in, take a look right here, meow. You've got your cycles. You can see how much it's going to cost you and all that, but 120 in was 120 out, so you're not losing anything. But it is costing you a little extra cash. Basically, honey goes in and honey goes out. So they're using the productions for this, but it allows you to never have to transport honey ever again. It will sell it for you automatically. It will send it wherever you need it to go automatically if you want it to, or you can have it just put it all here and you can just grab it as you need it. <laughs> I don't know how they've done this. This is a truly epic. Um, if you guys want to find it, go into your build mode. It does say that it's in factories, but don't go looking for it. It's not going to be in there. It's going to be found in animals, bees, and it's going to be found right here. Uh, price, not too bad. $15,000. So not awful at all. And if we go over to the Xbox, we can kind of poke over and we go to, of course, animals and go to bees. And we can see how much it's going to be. 21 slots. So it is heavy on slots. But it's it's just so cool. You got to have one of these. Your next new one for all platforms is going to be the Big Barn. It's a large barn. 80 by 17. Humongo. Uh, you can keep all your machines and crops here if you would like. $37,000 for this. So not too bad at all. Looks like for some of it, it is interior. So we've got a massive area right here, but it looks like we've also got an area all the way down here as well. Uh, like I said, 15 grand, and it's only gonna be 12 slots. So slot, hit, nah, it's not it's not bad at all. Not too bad, not too bad. Only well, thing, it doesn't appear to have lights. So this might get a little bit dark. Just be ready for that. Um, and when we say it could st store your crops, you just throw them on the ground or something like that. Got some massive halls right here, which is pretty sweet. Uh, getting machinery in and out shouldn't be too much of a trouble. This is pretty cool. There you go, big barn. Next, we've got the barn with workshop. This is a small barn in a Southern German or Bavarian style. Offers a workshop, workshop inside as well as a hayloft for storing some bells. Uh, the workshop is equipped with a four piece gate and lighting. So let's open her up and see what we get. Ooh, look at this. Down. Tell me the other side does it as well. Oh, I'm going to have to come out. Oh, it does it on its own. I don't have to do anything. That was super cool. We come in here, click up, boop, boop, boop. Whatever you've got pulled in there, you can work on it. Here is your hayloft right here. We've got a nice modern ladder. I could actually use one of these in real life. Anybody's got one, you can let me borrow. Uh, you can put some hay up here. Might be a little difficult to get it up there, but I'm sure you guys will figure it out just fine. This is going to be 20 slots, by the way, so it's not light by any means. Uh, the price isn't bad, though. 37 grand. If your nostalgia was just 
killing you and you had to have the workshop for farm some 19 well it is here and it is absolutely no different whatsoever it's just a complete straight up pick it up and port it over uh, it's gonna be three slots five grand and your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the woodshed this is where you use it bah, 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 bah. this is a wooden barn built in the 80s characterized by its size and its wooden construction very good looking nice to get right up to it everything's looking nice using some pretty high quality stuff in here uh very nice 35 grand it's only going to be two slots for you guys which is super super cool uh i'm curious on how everything works so let's see if we can do that now i guess i gotta walk over here oh so huh well uh have have fun i think oh i'm i'm so confused all right so we can have a little bit of fun <laughs> next let's move on to pc and mac player mods this is going to be the Duport ptw 12500 this is from dutch modding inc and this is a pretty darn cool 12,500 liter capacity, so not too bad. 5.2 tons, not too bad. 120 horsepower, not too bad. 10 miles per hour, meh. Okay, it is me, so not too bad, I guess. Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, BKT tires. Great to have all those different options. You even got chonk, chonk, chonky boys under there. Working lights, standard side, back, both. All kinds of stuff. You can light this whole thing up. And then blue or... Uh, Kind of a silver wheel setup. I like the blue, so stick with that. If you're curious how to use this, well, this is not a spreader by itself. You're actually gonna have to hook something up to this. So like a drag hose, maybe you're hooking up a trailed cultivator, something like that. Uh, definitely check those out. It may not be the Xylo, but we do have a Raybod thing in the game. This is the Foringent Forage Pusher from Fred Monning and Raybod. I love this design. So with this, couple colors yellow and red very easy uh, it's two meter spread very very nice and we even have a thing right here to grab onto it this is the telehandler manure fork from foringent uh 1760 liter capacity 620 kilogram weight doesn't look like there's any capacities with this so basically what you do is you get this buy it put it on your telehandler then you see this piece right here it says raybald foringent on here you grab it you grab that part with this, and that's how you use it. You don't actually attach it. You gra it's a grabber. That's kind of cool, right? It was pretty sweet. Your next new one for PC and Mac players today is the Timber Trailer Info from Kenny456. This mod shows you additional information about the loaded trees and logs on your trailer. So the count, total mass, volume of the tree logs, and displayed all of that in the F1 menu. The mod functions and adds to all vehicles trailers with tension belt specialization. So if it doesn't have tension belt, it ain't gonna work, at least with this. You've got your total transported tree log count per session, all time. It's all displayed in a small HUD next to a speedometer on the bottom right. You can resize the HUD and you can toggle between four different sizes or set it manually in the XML configuration file. You can also move the HUD on your screen. It doesn't have to be on the bottom right if you don't want it to. You can activate and deactivate the mod function for each vehicle, which is saved in the XML configuration file. All keys and controls can be set to your own liking. You can see what they are right there, but hey, change them up if you want to. It's all good. This next new mod for PC players is going to be a good one because y you guys have tried to drive these tractor or trailers around and you try to back them up. And if you're like me, you just it just ends up like that, right? Even though I'm the best backwards driver and I had to do that on purpose because I'm so good at backing up, uh, it gives you an idea. Well, with this new mod, the Trailer Axle Blocker, hit the Y button. It's right below the 6 and the 7, above the H. Click, and you saw it went kachunk. Now, that axle is blocked. You could back it in. Yes, it is a little bit odd backing it in, but it works. Uh, maybe driving forward is a little bit more interesting than backing it up. But the great thing is, at any time, you can break that and be good to go. Now, I don't know if it'll work when it's bent like this. It didn't in 19. Yeah, so you see it pops up, says align the trailer, so we need to get it semi-aligned. Boom. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That didn't work. What do you mean align the trailers? <laughs> I'm going to have to straighten this up to get it to lock? Well, good luck. 
you just pull forward a couple feet, you should be all right. Regardless, this is a neat mod. It works exactly the way that it's supposed to, and I love it. Once I got a kind of a neat one here, the tool position saver from the course play and dev team. This is neat. So this saves up to four positions and allows you to save those um, if at least one vehicle or implement has active mouse controls. For example, wheel loader with a shovel, conveyor belt of a bead harvester or forklift, and so on. With set position X, aka whatever you want it to be, you can save the current position of the corresponding slot. Player position, corresponding slot will be played. There you go. Uh, with switch mode, you can change the input and all that good stuff. You can see what the key bindings are right there, so change them if you want to. Otherwise, you can do whatever you'd like. Here's what I'm still having a hard time figuring out, but I, I think I get it, and it's not just because there's no text on the mod hub, thanks whoever did that. Uh, this automatically switches the light of the current vehicle or player on and off, depending on whether it is night or day. It works both when entering the vehicle and when driving. I'm still not exactly sure what it does, but I'm, I'm, does anybody want to explain this to me? This one, this one's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Here's another one, no text, good job. Uh, freeze time, this allows you to set the time scale to zero by pressing right shift. The key binding can be changed. Press right shift again and it will reset the key binding. Now, there's already a mod on Mod Hub, Find Time Adjustment, and uh, you can just simply hit Control 4, and that works. I'm used to doing that, especially for Farm Sim 19, which I did that then, so I've changed it. I didn't download this one, no. But <laughs> it still works. There's only one button as well. You don't have to hit two key binders, just right shift. That's it. <laughs> Check it out. All right, we do have some mod updates for you guys for PC and Mac players. And I'm not sure what's going on with the mod hub still. Increased unloading time from Cool Farmer. Oh, yeah, this is going to be changed on 1.001. Fixed a bug where big bags didn't load into the shop. And your last mod today, we've got an update to the extra gears mod. This is going to be changed log 1.001. Uh, they have added submitted translations and fixed the mod to work with the game version 1.2. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video for Farming Simulator 22. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed, join the Gohan fam notifications, make sure they're on. Don't be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to miss anything here on the channel. Also, let me know what was your favorite mod that came out today and if a mod that you're looking forward to didn't come out today, what mod is that? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, and I'd love to see what you're interested in and what you're looking forward to. Let me know. I'll be up. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.